sharing in church with us today. Whenever and however you're joining us, whether that's on the day of this service or whether you're watching at another time, you're so welcome. Whether you're young or old, you're welcome. Whether you are local or global, you are so welcome. Together we are one, worshipping together in Jesus' name. Being a church family is really important to us at Mutley and so every couple of weeks we've been sharing photos from our church family, not just as a reminder of each other, but a reminder that we are one, bound together in God's love as family. And this is the wonderful church family that God has given us. So here they are this week. like to be able to see and speak to some people live you can do that on Sunday evenings at 6 30 on Sundays we have a get together on zoom um, for some informal worship and prayer and just sharing together which is great the zoom invitation for that is on the church's Facebook page each Sunday uh, or email Fiona if you need it and she'll send it to you Fiona at muttleybaptist.co.uk and don't forget our online communion together on Monday the 18th of May at 8pm. It'll be a quiet, reflective time to just come together and open our hearts before God. More about that next week. In this time of continuing uh, separation and uncertainty, it's so important that we connect together with each other and with God. If we don't, we will lose heart, we'll get discouraged and fall away. In John chapter 6, we see that Jesus has fed the 5,000 people and they think that's great. And they say, do it again. Give us more miracles and amazing things. But Jesus doesn't. He goes on and teaches them instead. And because what he teaches is hard and challenging and nowhere near such an easy win as a miracle with food, it says that at this point, many of his disciples deserted him. And then Jesus turns to the 12 disciples, his inner group, and he asks, are you also going to leave? Have you had enough as well? Is it all too hard, too difficult when it's a struggle to understand and keep going? And Peter replies, but Lord, where else would we go? Who else could we go to? 
You are the one with the words of eternal life. And we do believe and have come to understand that you are the Holy One of God. And so for us, in times like this when nothing is easy and there are no easy answers or solutions and we can't see the way ahead, it's to him that we come. Where else would we go but to him, the one who holds all things in his hands and has the words of eternal life that speaks into our hearts and lives. So let's pray. Jesus, who else could we turn to? Where else could we go? Who else could save us? Thank you so much for coming into the world so that we can turn to you, so that we can know you and know that you're near. Help us to understand what it means to live in the power of your Holy Spirit. As we continue in our series looking at hope and what is the hope that we have in you, will you help us to understand, not just in our minds but in our hearts, that the life you offer us is the hope that anchors our souls, safe and secure in you. In the strong and powerful name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Okay, there's three songs now. The first one picks up this thought that Jesus is the giver of life, not just literal life and breath, but all the fullness of life that God has for us and that he's the only one who has the power to do that and to save us. And then we'll worship our triune God with the hymn Holy, Holy, Holy and the Creed. <laughs> 